Hey, howdy, hey, friends and neighbors. Scott here. Today we're going to talk about multiclassing with bitters. <laughs> this is not really an herbal word, multiclassing. I borrowed this from uh, role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons tabletop games. In those games, multiclassing is when you have a character that uh, has two jobs, like a wizard that can also swing a sword pretty good, or a thief that also knows how to heal the party. And uh, I just kind of borrowed that for this video talking about bitters, plants that are that are bitters but that also have other medicinal properties because um, plants plants very rarely only have one medicinal property. So um, we're just going to look at some bitters or plants that are bitter and uh, other things that you can do with them. Well, let's start out with plants that are bitter and also anti-inflammatory. So why first, why would you want to combine two properties well, for one thing, it's it's just more efficient, and uh, you don't have to pull out all of your herbs. If you have, uh, say, indigestion or a problem with digestion, you need to secrete some more fluids, but you also have some inflammation that you need to take care of. Well, why not just take one of these plants, something like yarrow? Uh, yarrow is going to end up on a lot of these lists, or chamomile, golden seal. Um, I don't really play with golden seal because... Um, uh, if it if it was if it was grown on a farm then that's fine but uh, a lot of times it's wild crafted and it's really um, kind of it's endangered we're we're going to end up running out of golden seal if people keep uh, keep wild crafting it so I'm hesitant to purchase golden seal you know just just in case it was uh, harvested irresponsibly but yeah any of these this is what you would use that for uh, for a bitter and antimicrobial you might want to use yarrow mugwort, golden seal, chamomile, you know. And um, so these might be um, if you're fighting an infection. Of course, that's what the antimicrobials do. And also you need to, you know, get your digestion going. Say perhaps, uh, you, gosh, you might not want to use this with a, a big-time stomach bug, but maybe your stomach is just a little bit upset. You think you might have just a bit of a bug. So you want some antimicrobials, but you also want to get that food digested and uh, pass through your system, especially if you're afraid it's going to turn into something later. Herbs that are bitter and antispasmodic would include chamomile, whorehound, and common rue. Um, so if you have uh, cramping, bowel cramping, you know, the spasms, uh, real uncomfortable, these would be fair enough herbs to use for that. Um, bitter and astringent herbs. This seems kind of like a, a uh, paradox because bitters cause you to excrete more fluids and astringents dry you up, but it's really not as contradictory as you might think. The bitter herbs help you to digest. They help secrete digestive fluids, and then the astringent herbs help to tone and, and dry tissue. So you would use these in a situation where you have a combination of uh, poor digestion and also you might have... Um, uh, loose stools, uh, diarrhea. The astringents could help to to tone that tissue up, to firm the stools up, so that you're not losing so much water. Bitter and carminative herbs. Carminative herbs are herbs uh, that basically help with gas, uh, flatulence, or are painful gas in in the bowels. Uh, wormwood and chamomile. Chamomile is really a go-to herb for just almost any digestive problem. It it may not it may not be uh, designed to help with your specific digestive issue, but it, just because it's so good for the digestive system, it's probably going to help a little um, indirectly. But um, we've we've all had those times when we've needed a carminative herb, and um, you know these are good to take before you eat, so you have it in your system. Of course, it's good to take it after too. Um, but uh, to help you know, get things ready for that food that's going to come in, uh, the the gas that builds up in your in your gut is mostly from the uh, microbes in your system digesting the food for us, and it's it's a good thing. They're doing a good job for us. They're breaking it down into a form that we can then digest more easily, that, that we can absorb more easily. But just a, a byproduct of that action is some gas. So these herbs help take care of that. Then bitter and diuretic. Of course, diuretic herbs help you expel water from your body. They, they help you wee. Um, yarrow is a good example of that. I couldn't really 
think of any others. I'm sure there are others that do both. That's just the one that uh, comes to mind. And then bitter and nervine, uh, wormwood and chamomile. Nervine herbs have an effect on the nervous system. Um, many times it's a tonic effect just to tonify, um, to bring about proper function. And chamomile, chamomile is so great for the digestive system. It is a bit bitter, so it does help to stimulate digestive fluids and uh, increase digestion. Um, but it, it, it has a soothing, uh, calming effect on the nervous system in the bowels. So um, even though it's not a spasmodic, it does kind of indirectly help to stop with that kind of cramping stomach spasming. And there you go. There are um, bitter herbs that are also something else. <laughs> Multiclassing with the bitters, the bitters. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Until next time, keep your eyes out for plants and zombies. <laughs> I'll see you.